collecting stuff. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I said, honey, I'm going out to get, you know, I, I, looks like I won the bid on a camera. I'm just going to go out and pick it up. Her tip off should have been I brought my big steak bed truck. Get it. <laughs> and when I brought it home, of course, this monster is six feet high, 1,600 pounds, sitting on the back of my truck. And um, I pull out the driveway, and she just walked up there and just did this. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much did it cost to build originally, and what did you pay for it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, planned, I believe it was about, uh, about a quarter Second. million dollars. So the, the, the objective is get the first strike slow, then run the camera up. And that's my objective, hopefully, this spring and summer. So, yeah, feel free to come in. There's, there's folks in here already. The operating position up front. And the reason I chose this truck is simply because I can walk from the driver's position in the back and operate the camera. So I don't have to get out of the truck. I just pull over and start running the camera. Oh, you have to convert it over to digital because this is what they call a continuous access. The camera continues to take pictures. The shutter is actually too slow to shut it down at a million frames per second. So you have this thing called rewrap. And with film, you have to shut the light off to the camera within 20 microseconds. In order to do that, what I have done before is actually taken two metal plates separated about 20 microseconds. The problem is that I do not want to be carrying explosives, and I do not want to be carrying electric detonators and electric fields that are produced by a lightning strike. <laughs> so the idea then is to convert it over to all digital because I could then sequence the digital CCD images off and on at will of, of this hub. Way and then the mirror, basically the three-side mirror just basically wraps it all the way around as it's sped up. These are the these are the helium bottles that spin up. The operating position is up front here, so I control it. So more and more helium I give it, the faster the turbine spins. And then I got a conversion chart that tells me revolutions per second on the turbine gives me X amount of frames per second. 